Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is Acts 7, 17 to 43. In the previous passage, we started to read Stephen's speech to, to the Sanhedrin. The Jews who did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah had accused him of speaking against the temple and changing the law of Moses. Stephen showed that the followers of Jesus were not speaking against God, but were continuing God's plan. He reminded the people of God's promise to Abraham and God's faithfulness in fulfilling them. In today's passage, Stephen shows how, like Jesus, Moses was rejected by the people he was sent to deliver, and how Moses prophesied that one day Jesus would come. Before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear God, thank you for today, and thank you for your word. We also thank you for your love. As we read today's passage, we pray that you will speak to us and teach us something new. Amen. Read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 7, verse 17. As the time drew near for God to fulfill his promise to Abraham, the number of our people in Egypt had greatly increased. Then a new king, to whom Joseph meant nothing, came to power in Egypt. He dealt treacherously with our people and oppressed our ancestors by forcing them to throw out their newborn babies so that they would die. At that time, Moses was born and he was no ordinary child. For three months, he was cared for by his family. When he was placed outside, Pharaoh's daughter took him and brought him up as her own son. Moses was educated in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was powerful in speech and action. When Moses was 40 years old, he decided to visit his own people, the Israelites. He saw one of them being mistreated by an Egyptian, so he went to his defense and avenged him by killing the Egyptian. Moses thought that his own people would realize that God was using him to rescue them, but they did not. The next day, Moses came upon two Israelites who were fighting. He tried to reconcile them by saying, Men, you are brothers. Why do you want to hurt each other? But the man who was mistreating the other pushed Moses aside and said, Who made you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? When Moses heard this, he fled to Midian, where he settled as a foreigner and had two sons. After 40 years had passed, an angel appeared to Moses in the flames of a burning bush in the desert near Mount Sinai. When he saw this, he was amazed at the sight. As he went over to get a closer look, he heard the Lord say, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses trembled with fear and did not dare to look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I have indeed seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groaning and have come down to set them free. Now come, I will send you back to Egypt. This is the same Moses that they had rejected with their words. Who made you ruler and judge? He was sent to be their ruler and deliverer by God himself through the angel who appeared to him in the bush. He led them out of Egypt and performed wonders and signs in Egypt, at the Red Sea, and for 40 years in the wilderness. This is the Moses who told the Israelites, God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your own people. He was in the assembly in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai and with our ancestors, and he received living words to pass on to us. But our ancestors refused to obey him. Instead, they rejected him and in their hearts turned back to Egypt. They told Aaron, make us gods who will go before us. As for this fellow Moses who led us out of Egypt, we don't know what has happened to him. That was the time they made an idol in the form of a calf they brought sacrifices to it and reveled in what their own hands had made. But God turned away from them and gave them over to the worship of the sun, moon, and the stars. This agrees with what is written in the book of the prophets. 
Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings 40 years in the wilderness, people of Israel? You have taken up the tabernacle of Molech and the star of your god Rephan, the idols you made to worship. Therefore, I will send you into exile beyond Babylon. What is God saying to you today in that passage? Think about it and read over the passage again, if you like, and write it down in your soap journal. Don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else.